Tonight I am staying at the Tropicana in Laughlin, Nevada once again, but I decided to mix it up tonight and I got a room in the West Tower. So let's take a look. Here in the bathroom, it was not listed on the website, but there is a coffee maker. I know coffee makers and refrigerators come standard in the East Tower, no matter which room you get. So it could vary by room here. This is a premium. And there are two free bottles of water, small as they may be. And this is the first difference between the room I have here tonight and the one I had in a previous video, which was an East Deluxe room. This, as you can see, is a shower tub combo, whereas the other one was a walk-in shower. As you can see, adjoining rooms are a possibility here. Very small open closet. And just to give you an idea of the rates here the night I booked, this is for a Sunday night. You have the base rate tax and the resort fee and the grand total. Lucky for me, it was comped. So this is a luxury two queen. And no matter where you stay, in the West Tower, the East Tower, classic, deluxe, luxury, premium, their rooms are all the same size. And discrepancy number two between the description on the website and the room itself, there is no safe to be found in here. Trust me, I checked everywhere. Did say that there was one, but there is not. So between the two beds, you do have a lamp, telephone, and what you don't see are outlets really here. There's just one, so that's not good. So this is a small television. And I know if you have a room in a premium room in this tower, it's a little bit larger, but nothing too big. And as you can see here, no refrigerator. I believe it listed that they are available upon request. So I don't know if you have to pay for it or what. So I got these from Safeway, two for five fifty. In the gift shop here, the Bud Lights and I believe Coors Light was two for twelve. And in Vegas, I just paid like seven, eight bucks a can. They are twenty five ounce, so I don't have to wait for a drink, which seems like they never come. So you have seating for two over here. The shutters are a nice touch. They do come standard in every room I've ever been in at Tropicana. So let's take a look outside. Just behind the East Tower right there, there is an In-N-Out Burger. And yeah, those are good burgers, Walter. So here is the pool. And from the left over across Casino Drive, Casino Boulevard, whichever it is, I can't remember, that is Riverside, Aquarius, Edgewater, which is right behind the East Tower. Colorado Bell, which is closed. Funny story, one night I stayed there and part of the ceiling fell to the ground, woke me up. Uh, that is the new Pioneer. Golden Nugget. And that is the River Lodge. And out of sight, up the hill is Harrah's. I came here the night of a five-time tier credit multiplier and it took me 40 minutes to get in, just through registration. So never again is that gonna happen. So if you want a room that's right off the parking garage, I can recommend a room in the West Tower. Otherwise, I would get East. Thanks for watching. Here is a view of Laughlin at night, and I didn't mention it, I think I mentioned it in a previous video, but the main benefit to staying in the East Tower, in my opinion, is that it comes right down to the casino floor, pretty much, whereas there is a steep incline if you are in the West Tower. If you have difficulty getting around, you might not want to stay in the West Tower. And the lights are on at the Colorado Bell, but nobody is home. And that's a shame, because my favorite place to eat in Laughlin was Pints. I think locals, if you're familiar with Laughlin, will know exactly what I'm talking about. And so here's the rest of Laughlin. Minus Harris, of course.